And I'm, I'm excited to react to this interview, this little session from Ashley Dalton. Let's get into it. Hey. Oh, welcome. Oh, oh. Bro, clean it. Is everything good? There we go. Let yes, it focus. Yes, everything's there good. We go. Well, we have a man up here. Welcome. Thank you. So yes. I would just Maybe give my two cents about the whole conversation, Crocs and sandals and all that. Um, if I but see I somebody with a bonnet, can you give us a, a what is your first impression when you see a woman in crocs and a bonnet like first time seeing them mm. hood rat automatically instantly especially the bonnet that's the number one sign the you know and i know a lot of people make excuses for this like oh what about if i'm going to get my hair done or what if i'm tired or whatever it is it's like, i don't know the context of your life Right. I don't know any of that when I see you. So if I see you outside with a bonnet on with pajamas on, I immediately think you're young, like you're a young person and you just not taking life all that serious yet. That's my first thought. The bonnet, I'm going to tell you a few things that we don't like when I say we I'm talking about men, men that are successful. I make pretty good money. I got a lot of friends who make a lot of money. I'm going to tell you what we talk about the bonnet automatically worse than the crocs worse than anything Man. that's a no-go then if under the bonnet you had a little baby hair stuff that y'all be doing that's like Black. Little big baby hairs red flag she's shaking her head like i got baby hairs but i think it's a different i know what he's talking about he's talking about the exaggerated baby hairs where it's like the entire forehead oh my god that's a little crazy like i expect that from like the 17, 18 year olds. But when you 30 and your hair look like that? If we see that, we're just gonna pass you by right away. Then yeah. the crop. Then the crops, okay. That is just like, are you about to go work in the garden? You about to go do some some yard work or something? Like, what are we doing? If you Man. out and you got that on, I'm assuming you a stay at home mom or you're not really interested in men. Man. So I'm gonna just leave you alone. You're not even carrying. I think when you wear Crocs again, either it says you're young, you don't have priorities or responsibilities yet. Like, and I say, I think this is for guys too. Like if you're a man, 25 plus 30 plus, you're a grown adult man with responsibilities. I don't think you should be wearing Crocs in the mall and shit. Like, no, like put some boots on, put some shoes on, put some clothing on, bro. Like you should be wearing Crocs everywhere you go. Like it's kind of insane. You're not approachable with, with Crocs on and you don't even got to wear something that's super, like you said, super expensive. You could you could go to Walmart, Target, and find some stuff and style it right. Like, even me, I'm not wearing no Jordans, no basketball shoes. I'm wearing stuff like this. Okay. These basic shoes, and they're not even really all that. This is just something real basic. $50, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even for me, mm -hmm. for women, if you're seeing guys that's my age, wearing Jordans, <laughs> stuff like, you know, real childish stuff. What would you think? You're going to be like, what are you, you going to look at that, man? I myself as a 32 year old man, when I see guys that are 30 plus wearing Jordans everywhere, sweatpants nonstop, I'm always like, bro, like, do you ever wear adult clothes? Like, are you an adult like me? Like, and it's hard to look at those guys like, like we're on the same level because you dress like a teenager, bro. Like, let's be honest. I'm not saying you have to wear a suit and tie everywhere you go. I want to be clear. I'm not saying that. But you got to have something serious. As what, about crocs? what about men who wear Crocs? Would you be caught dead in Crocs? I don't even own a pair of Crocs. I never, I never even all. worn a no. pair of Crocs before. I have some slides, some Nike Thank slides. You. But if I'm wearing some slides... I'm about to go to the beach or I'm just at the house or I'm doing something like that. I'm like inside oh, normally. Man. And guys don't like hearing this because they feel like it's a personal attack. And it is. It is a personal attack. If you're a grown man, dress like a grown man. Don't dress like the teenagers, bro. You look crazy. To adults, you look crazy. My slides, I keep those like in a, on an ottoman close to my bed. So if I got to just get around at night in my house, Without being barefoot on the hardwood, I'll just put on the slides. That's Ooh. all they for. Or when you're taking the trash out, bro. I got some Nike slides for in the house when I'm just, you know, I got upstairs, downstairs now. I got two and a half bathrooms. Like, it's so much space. I want to wear shoes around the house. So I got some, you know, Nike slides for that. And I got a separate pair of Nike slides just for when I'm going outside to take the trash out. 
I'm not wearing those Nike slides to the mall or the airport. I'm not doing that, bro. No. Yeah, I'm not wearing those out, really. So when you said, and just to follow up, because this is about bonnets and Crocs, right? Yeah. A man's first impression, at least yours, your first impression when you see a woman in a bonnet and Croc combination in public is hood mm. rat. Instantly, right away, <laughs> immediately. Instantly. I'm going to just, if I, if I see that, I'm going to not even look at you at all. I'm going I'm to glance and see that combination and keep it moving. There are women who are in the comments right now saying there are rich men or men who, of means who are approaching them, quote unquote, with a croc and bonnet on. I mean, I guess that could happen, but why is he approaching you? Because a guy might approach a hood type person. He might approach her for a different reason. Are we trying to get married to you? Are we trying to walk down the aisle? <laughs> are we trying to do that? Or are we trying to do something else? I mean, if you got a crazy body, like let's say, one of these celebrities that have one of these big crazy bodies. You make Meg, Meg the Stallion was in Walmart with a bonnet and some Crocs on. Yeah, I'm going to approach her because look at it. Look how she looks. But a regular person that's not going to just jump off the page and she has that combination on and it's like two or three kids and no, nah, I nobody got no time. Like you immediately, the perception of, of me, for, for anybody that I see out, like when I see dudes wearing wave caps in public or the ski mask, like if it's not snowing and you have a ski mask on, you are immediately a danger to society to me. Like I feel the same way about the wave caps. I Short hair, wave hair, you feel me? Wave length hair for me. Like I wear a wave cap at night. When I wake up, the first thing I do is take it off. I'm not wearing that to the gas station or taking my kids to school. That's insanity. So when you wear the bonnet going to the grocery store, you look crazy. You always will look crazy. That's not going to change. It's not. And the guys that are, that are approaching you are not the high quality men you think they are. I'm going to just keep it real with you. The high quality men are not doing that. That's just the truth. <laughs> like, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're saying if a woman has a nice body and she's wearing Crocs and a bonnet, then it's okay. Is that what you're saying? I'm it's not even okay. What it is, is... Some guys will look past that and say, oh, she's a fun girl. But what you got to know is if you the way you dress, you get categorized immediately, immediately. If you got on the bonnet and the Crocs, you are in the fun girl category, which means the wife category is over here. The fun girl is over here. It is very hard to go from a fun girl to a wife. It's very difficult to do. Once you end up in fun girl, it you can't even get the girlfriend really you stuck in fun girl like i will never take you serious some dudes will have fun with them but as you get older you got more to lose it's too dangerous. i'm not saying we still don't see her the same but i might say okay that's a hood rat but maybe i'll approach her if she looks good enough maybe but oh. you gotta be looking like if i saw coco jones in the in the store she's six foot tall dark skin pretty it, it don't matter but that's that ain't the average person. You got to look the best the for the average person. Look the best for how you look. If you're just a regular person with Crocs and bonnet, I'm not even really going to try to look and see if you're going to look good outside of that. I'm going to just keep it moving. So people in the comments are saying, so if you don't got a body, don't wear Crocs and a bonnet. But if you have a body, you can get away it's with pretty, it. Is, is this not pretty privilege? It's pretty privilege. If you're an attractive girl, you get away with a lot more than the unattractive girls get. Like, This is common knowledge, man. I don't know why we all of a sudden act like we don't know that pretty privilege exists. This is just one of the things that falls into that category. The more attractive you are, the more you can get away with. But I find that the most attractive women are the ones who are getting like custom dresses and going to fashion week and getting just a different lifestyle. The really attractive girls. You will never see them dress like that. Like their off day, they first of all, they have very few off days. And then the off day they do have, it's not something like Crocs and a bonnet. Like that's just the thing here. I mean, really, the message is don't wear it. Because 99.9% .9 of people, including myself, are not going to be the best of the best when it comes to looks. So the best thing for you to do is just don't wear it. Because some of y'all think you look better than what you look. And that's fine. But you're going to kind of get in the way of trying to finesse the system. Why is it an obsession with wearing Crocs? You're saying, hey, don't yeah. wear the Crocs. It's not a good look. I'm saying you probably shouldn't wear it. It's not a good look. Why is it an obsession to wear the Crocs? There's a bunch of things you could wear that's comfortable that doesn't look so frumpy like a pair of Crocs. Right. Right. I don't I understand. Yeah, exactly. 
it's the truth. Well, thank you for coming up and giving us, you know, your take on this. No problem. Anytime. Golly. Yeah, I heard it from a man. Okay. Wow. And it'd be, it's interesting watching her show because when she says things like this or the makeup comment that she made, like the women lose their mind at it. Like, oh my God, that's just you. And then they go in on her about her looks and what she's done to her face, her body and all of that stuff. And the message of what she's saying gets lost. And I, we see this a lot with the content online where as soon as somebody hears something that they don't like from a person, the conversation isn't about the topic. It's now about, well, you don't look this way or you don't have this or that. So you can't say this. And that's, you're not focused on the actual message. So we can't really get nowhere because we're not talking about the topic. You didn't start making a personal attacks and talking about their appearance and this and that. And that's just, it takes away from what the conversation really should be. Oh, wow. Wow. What a conversation today. Welcome in everyone. Request to join the live. Man. We are talking about Crocs and bonnets today. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Excuse, excuse my chest. I went to the Bahamas, honey. And... Oh, did you have a good time? Yes, I did. It was amazing. Oh, my God. I love you. Thank you for accepting um, my request. Absolutely. Welcome. You are gorgeous. Um, so the guy that just was up there, he kind of upset me a little bit. Oh, um, my thing is... Bonnets, no. Bonnets is definitely a Why no. Why is bonnets no? Give us um, one. I just feel like, okay, it gives bed. So it gives, like, my hair is probably not flat ironed or it's not together or I'm headed to the to the hair salon or it's just, it's, it doesn't give, I'm not going to say clean because nine times out of ten, I'm from Chicago. So nine I times, just, I don't just, I want you to be straight out with it. Yeah. So nine it's, times out of ten, hmm. I, when I see women out in public and they have on bonnets, they have something, if not pajamas, close to pajamas on. Crocs, I am an avid croc wearer. So I am like, Crocs to me is not. Why. See, because she wears Crocs, it's like Crocs aren't bad because I wear them. Baby girl, that still don't mean it's a bad look. It's a bad look. Really a thing. I can dress up, dress down, do whatever. But like I own, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I own a balloon company. I'm typically on my feet all the time. So if I'm not in gym shoes, I'm, I have my Crocs on because I'm on my feet all the time and they are comfortable for me to wear a bid. I'm running errands, running the kid to the school, okay. whatever. So, so what was it about the last guy that upset you that he said? It, so it was, oh, if you don't have a banging body, I, I'm not going to talk to you if you wear Crocs and, and a bonnet. That's that doesn't make sense um it does because it's pretty privilege that's exactly what it is see we got to this point now and i blame the movement of the body positivity to where people are now manipulated into thinking that pretty privilege don't exist bro it still exists it's still here alive and well like you might not feel it every day it's still here man he it's the same thing, no matter what you're looking at. So if you say no to the woman that doesn't, that has on bonnets and the Crocs, and she has a simple, by, oh, she a hood rat. Oh, she this, that, and the other. But if this woman has on, have a banging body and has on Crocs and a bonnet, oh, um, well, she could be some potential just by her body. To me, that yes. was, that was kind of sexist. Um, sexist they both women what are we talking about <laughs> that can't be sexist if both we're talking about both women that's not sexist what you're talking about is pretty privilege i want to see if ashley's gonna get her to admit this i got i gotta see um, in my going. opinion um he needs to probably he probably i feel like he was nervous so let's just say he was nervous and he didn't no, he know wasn't. what he was he wasn't saying I think when, and I will say this, and this is not me defending him, because I don't, I, I don't care what you look like. If you have a great body, a great face, you shouldn't be oh, wearing like, bonnets or Crocs. Period. Wear. You know. Right. But I do know men talk a certain way when they're amongst men. Yes. And the way they think about us and see us, if they were brutally honest, yes, you would probably be, be like, oh my god, like, yeah. what do you Didn't mean? You know. Yeah. Not take to it. Excuse what he's saying. 
But even when I why even when I'm reacting to content like this, I'm still filtering myself and I'm not talking like I would talk to the guys because I know if I say certain things, you get your channel deleted, you get people attacking you online. Like we can't really have that honesty that you want, even if I'm not being rude. I know you all want to say bullshit like, well, if you say it nice, no, there's no nice way to say it. There's no nice way to say it. Simple. She's upset because she's a bigger woman and he's making an, um, and he's accepting that, hey, if uh, an attractive woman wears that, I might still give her time of day because she's attractive. She doesn't fit in that because she's a bigger woman. So now she's taking offense to it. That's what it is. It's that simple. It's that damn simple, man. That's just how some men think. Right. right. No, absolutely. So he didn't say like if she was gorgeous or her facial features were gorgeous. He like, if she got a banging body, I holler. And then he like threw in the kids, like, sir. Like, it, Is he wrong? But people, it's, that's not wrong. I, and it, it, I'm not saying it's not true, but usually I'm not saying it's always the case. Right. But usually moms are looking for convenience. Come yes. On, man. We would throw on a crock. Most yes. moms would throw on a crock. Yes. In a sweater, if we're being honest. Yes. And I'm a. And I don't even think it's nothing wrong with the mom that's looking for convenience. I got kids myself. I know how hard it can be. Trust me, if anybody knows, it's me. Like, I know how difficult it can be. But I also think if you're making this decision, oh, I want to get a guy, I need to get a, a man in my life. You got to understand the stuff that men don't like and stop arguing us about the things we don't like. If we don't like it, we just don't like it. It's okay. I'm a mom. I'm a mom of a teenager, not like a toddler or, you know, but I get it, especially when them, those, I don't always have the opportunity. Like right now it's day day. It's day night. I'm about to do my makeup, put on my cutesy, demure stuff, but I, I don't always dress up because of like, I work a lot. So I'm in typically leggings and my branded shirt for my business all the time. So of course, when I get the opportunity to dress up, I'm going to dress. But some of those days is like, oh, I have to run to my, you know, distributor and I need to throw on these Crocs. I don't no, want to throw on gym shoes. You know, run to the distributor in Crocs. That's no excuse. Okay. You're, Thank and you're you. a business owner. You're a boss. Absolutely. I have a higher expectation of you is what I'm saying. I get it. A cute little skippy, a cute little sneaker, a sneaker mule you could get. Okay. A sneaker mule you can get. Okay. You can get slides. You can get a little slipper that you put on and go out the door. Okay, I agree with you. Sketchers have something like that. That's comfortable. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am, and that's the reason why I join. I typically do watch, you know, I, I like Ashley's content because she gonna stand on what she's saying, even if the women don't like it. If the guys don't like it, she gonna stand on that. I respect that, man. I, me myself, I have to uh, take ownership of that, and I said also I need to get back into dressing. So no, I'm not taking anything from. That's just my opinion about Crocs and bonnets. I love my Crocs, but I feel you with getting back like into. I used to dress all the time, but you put on a couple of pounds and you get a little fluffy and then the dressing don't be dressing like it don't give you what you need so no absolutely i agree with I you mean... and just to you know follow up on what you're saying i'm not even talking about the leggings or the t-shirt even if you decide to put that on i'm just saying the footwear should still be something outside of a crock it could be a sneaker a slide anything else with your leggings okay. that makes sense i don't know if y'all realize this but i think What's happening now in the online world is the different types of women we have are clashing. Like the girls who, the, the women who don't have kids, who don't have responsibilities, who are like just out here living a life, like that can obsess over getting their nails done, their, hair's done, their hair done, or going to yoga and Pilates. And like, that's all they think about. Those women are now in the same world as the moms that have two and three kids that have to clean up and cook dinner every day. Like these women are now in the same spaces and I'm seeing them clash a lot more. Like I think because some of the content from the influencers is out here about what you should do, what you shouldn't wear and how you should carry yourself and all of that. These two women are in different worlds. So their lifestyles are completely different. Their everyday life is different. I'm noticing them clash a lot more than I did before. Do y'all kind of see what I'm talking about? I see this a whole lot. Cause I think 
a woman like Ashley is not the type that got a bunch of kids she got to chase around. And even if she got a business, she's not like running around doing everything for the business, working nonstop. Like she's not doing that. But this woman is one of those women on the other side that's like, I have the kids. I got a business. I got a lot going on nonstop. So like these two women are living two completely just varying lifestyles. It's just different. I don't know if this conversation can really, I, I don't know if it can really go anywhere because they're on two opposite sides of womanhood at this point, to be honest with you. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice to um, meet you. <laughs> you too, beautiful. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, we are converting the girls. Okay. At least she took okay. it. Well. I give her respect One for that. city, one country at a time. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. Welcome in. I had commented on your um uh, on your post, your video about the the Crocs and she the bonnets. She got so much life in her eyes. Um, I don't do bonnets, but I just, I kind of just think that it's. Before you go to the Crocs, give us one reason why you don't do bonnets. Why you don't leave the house with a bonnet on? I don't know. It, it makes you look unkempt. I think I think you should just you you wear that whenever you know you at home when you clean it. But whenever you go you step out, you need to take that that bonnet off. Absolutely. So let's talk about the Crocs. Okay, so I'm a I'm a Croc girl. Um, I live in the country. It's a lot of guys that wear Crocs. And so, like, on your posts that you, had, uh, that you had put, so, like, the men with money, where I'm at, is, they're farmers. So, like, they're always outside, so, like, they wear Crocs and stuff. So, it's like, you know, if you, if you want the man with the money, the man with the money got Crocs on, or he got on some work boots. So, I just kind of just think that it's the area that you're from, whether the Crocs would be acceptable or not. Okay, so since the men have money and they wear Crocs and they work on a farm, that means as the ladies, we have to match their fly. We have to wear- This is why I like Ashley. Cause she's always like really good at that. Like we don't need to do what they do. Cause that, that, that never makes sense to me when it's like, well guys get to cheat and do da 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 da. So I should be like, no, you're picking the worst things from the other side and saying, I want to do it too. That doesn't make sense. We have the same exact shoe. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm from the I'm from the country, so we so we wear Crocs, we wear sandals, we wear heels, um, all that. To be honest with you, but I don't know. I, you know, Kayla. Sorry to cut you off, darling. Come on. But I don't know a truly Southern belle who would wear a Croc shoe, because I know how y'all do it in the South. I consider Southern ladies very demure, very cutesy. I think y'all know how to put it together. I think y'all know how to, you know, be very classy. So I think one goes with the other. Go ahead. Whenever, whenever you, when you say wear Crocs, do you mean like out and about, like going out on a date with the Crocs, or like just running errands with Crocs? Because, yeah. because running errands, because I got sure. several pairs of Crocs. So I, we run errands in Crocs, not not dates, not mm -hmm. dates. But, I would say no dates, no errands, not nothing. even to the mailbox, not even to walk the dog. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Because I think there's so many beautiful little slippers, slides, sneakers that women can put on. Yes, ma'am. And we as men recognize that kind of stuff. And we like that. Like when you are me personally, I'm going to speak for me. I like the the girls who are girly girls who are like who want to do that kind of stuff, who want to find the cutest thing all the time. That's what you're supposed to do. If I'm wearing the shit, that'll mean you're supposed to wear it too. Just because I'm wearing it. No, that's for me. Like, oh, I got a tie on. You want to wear a tie too? Like, no, no, don't do that. Do the girly stuff. That's that's yours over there. That's why it exists. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I have me I have me a few pair of uh, of sandals, designer sandals. But on those, on those days where it's, I'm, I know I'm going to be running, going this place, that place, I, I, I throw on a pair of Crocs. Not but always, also, but... But I also think it doesn't need to be a Fendi or Chanel. It doesn't need to be a designer. It could be from Target. It could be from Steve Madden. It could be any little slip-on shoe. Doesn't need to be expensive for it to look good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. You know, how they say two things can be true at once. But yeah, I, I, I do, like sometimes I, I wear my Crocs whenever I go to the grocery store to go grocery shopping. Um, I put on my, my Crocs 
or I can put on, or I can put on my designer sandals because I got two pair of Louis Vuitton sandals, and I and I think I wore those to the ground. They so slick, so about, uh, slick at the, uh, the bottom. It's it's not about that. I think what really matters in this is it 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 comes down to what it is that you want in your life right now like if you just like look i'm taking care of my kids i want to be as comfortable as possible as often as possible then do your thing like you can take that path take that route and roll with it i don't think that that's bad like if that's what you want to do cool but if you want to attract a man into your life a man that got his license and got a car that's employed like if you want the quality man to be in your life there are certain things you just should not be doing that's all i'm saying and that's all it comes down to if you don't want that that's fine do what you want to do I, I the same way i would tell a guy if you want a quality woman you should not be sagging your pants you shouldn't be wearing a do-rag in public like you should you should never do any of that stuff to begin with let alone if you're trying to get a high quality woman in your life. Like if you're trying to go that route, you definitely need to drop all the bullshit, man. Like let it go. I don't understand why people are fighting for this so much, man. It's so many other ways to be comfortable. Like I'm comfortable all the time. I've never owned a pair of Crocs. I probably never will. I don't think it's necessary. So let me know what y'all think. Y'all Croc wearers, are y'all big into the bonnets? Let me know in the comments below.